starting in 5 seconds mr chairman sir keeping in view the circumstances in the country our constitution is so framed that we can say that it is neither fully federal nor fully unitary it strikes a balance between two and it stood the test of time in all situations so far cropped in the country we have so far successfully thwarted all kinds of challenges posed to our political system we have remained stable amidst such pressure on our system i do not think that any new development has taken place warranting reappraisal and detailed analysis of our political system often our friends particularly from opposition parties raise the demand for redefining of relations between the center and the states i think whenever any political development takes place in a particular state or a particular party of a particular state feels any pressure on it in that situation the only one slogan is raised that the central government is committing excesses on it be it is a political issue or a financial issue generally such things are raised on three counts firstly it is raised on account of the institution of governor secondly on account of prevailing financial relations between the center and the states and thirdly such things are raised by different regional parties for their personal political gains under the compulsion of situations in their state if a detailed analysis is made with regard to it one comes to the conclusion that behind all these three factors it is mainly the political compulsion that forces them to raise such issues sir if we take an example of the present west bengal government which often holds central government responsible for any lapse on their part so that they could hide their failures they often level charges against central government of not granting that much of autonomy which is required by their state government to undertake the job while the fact is that our constitution is neither newly formed nor it is a creation of recent past at present whatever equation between the center and the states is prevailing it has been prevailing under the constitution since long ago it was formed long ago by our constitution makers so long as the same party ruled at the center and the state no such problem arose but as soon as different parties came into power at the center and states such problem began to arise often the states make complaints against central government for not paying attention towards their financial needs and for not providing them the required financial resources and as a result of which development projects remain incomplete basically it is the governments of states which are responsible for making developments in their states 
and in order to fulfill this obligation they need money states have been presenting their case before finance commission and the financial resources are distributed accordingly and this thing is clearly mentioned in the constitution also but we see that whenever some state governments become unable to generate required financial resources to fulfill the requirements of development works and also to function according to the aspirations of the particular people of that particular state then such state governments blame the center for not providing them required funds i would like to submit to the honorable minister for home affairs that the present finance commission shall devise a formula as to how the states could be provided their maximum share in the financial resources a serious thought is required to be given to it and the formula so evolved may undergo minor changes but major changes and it create imbalance and generally some people try to shirk their responsibility on this pretext some days ago some suggestions were given to the honorable prime minister by the chief ministers of some states when they called on honorable prime minister they talked on different subjects they did not have any concrete proposals with regard to their recommendations even then the honorable prime minister assured them to forward it to the finance commission and advised them to contact directly to the commission but when they came out after meeting the prime minister what they told to the press was totally contrary to that they tried to emphasize that the point put forward by them was quite justified and the prime minister did not pay attention to it i do not want to go into depth of it because in politics a number of things can be said and are being said but the only things just i want to submit that the chief ministers of opposition ruled states should understand a point as to how the congress ruled states are after all functioning under the same financial framework fixed by the central government and the planning commission previously the congress chief ministers offered a suggestion to give states more percentage of shares in the amount of small savings than what is being given to them at present this was a concrete suggestion but such solid suggestion was never given by the government of west bengal or karnataka stop